everybody, Plus Lady 23 here. Um, just gonna get started with chapter 19. If this thing stops freaking out on me. Uh, okay, here we go. As you can see, there are a lot of ravens here, including King Nesala. Ah, uh, let me see here. The thing you really want to do... Well, I'll tell you when we're done. When all this crap is done. Eh! Yep. There is a way to get the ravens to withdraw, yes. What you want to do is make sure that you have either Janef or Uki and Rayson. This is very important. You don't want Soth on this. I'm just going to bring Rolf and Sheenan. Not that I actually need them. But... Because... I'm losing my train of thought really bad here. Well, the Sheenan Jan F support is really doggone funny. But other than that... You know, he's awesome because of his abilities and crap. There are... Hold up. Here we go. View map. There are two crows up here that are both at four, so they'll take a while. You don't want to kill any of the crows, though. I know that seems kind of weird, but... You do not want to kill the crows, otherwise you miss out on getting a really good item. We also don't want to stick anybody in Nessala's attack range, which is this. At least, it gets big, it, actually, his range gets wider as when he transforms. Unless it's a unit that will not one hit kill him, or one that, or one that basically he won't hit one hit kill, and it's in it's just outside of his attack range that he cannot attack them directly because Nesala has Vortex. It's the same effect as a wind magic spell. So, if you have a unit, I would normally use Ike or Morim. Uh, then you can use Jan after you get over to him quickly. Nesala will then become an NPC. And he will, not right then, but he will still be an enemy. He won't attack you, and he will move on his own to talk to Rayson. Um, basically what you want to do is set up a couple groups. One to just charge in, which will include Jan F and Rayson. Watch out for these Ballista as well. Do not stick like Jill, Janaf, Race, and Tanis in there. Because they will die. And... Um, I think I'm actually going to kick Tanaf off the team for this one. Because Jill... Is better aside from resistance and we're gonna take mist because we're gonna need uh, two healers one to stay with this group and mostly heal Sheenan who's gonna be probably taking the brunt of most attacks and one to go with the main group anyway I've probably bored you with my prepping enough so let's get to work Oh, 
excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Most empathetic, yes. That's why racism won't talk to Duke Tan to Nissa anymore because of Duke Tannis. <laughs> yes, good, Ike. Um, yeah, like I said, basically you want to watch out for the ballista. They have some really crazy range. This guy's gonna be pretty much dang near. Two of these are gonna be pretty much doggone near impossible to get at to kill them. So you gotta wait for them to run out. Simply because they are on hills, and the only ones who can get up there are flying units, who will instantly be killed by the ballista. I think uh, beast tribe legos have problems with them too, but I don't know for certain. Either way, we're just gonna keep everybody moving forward. I don't know why I put so and so far back, but I did. Oh well. It happens. And we want Racin and Jen F to go with this group. Because of this guy. Must go up here too. What we're gonna do here is I'm an idiot and did not leave enough people back here to protect Riss, but he has a lot of HP right now because I gave him that Seraphrobe earlier. The good thing about Nasala, he will not move unless you are in his range. And this guy has a death wish, apparently. Basically, you have to... Kill every, uh... York enemy and avoid killing Legos. That's very difficult because these guys t tend to attack you like crazy. Um, here's Nasala's expanded range. Um, what I'm gonna do is move a couple units forward. And leave the ones that are weak to Ballista in the back. And Soren's probably going to take a crap ton of damage because he gets nailed by those things every time. Um, uh, I'm going to send Jenna. No, that might not be a good idea. Um, well, if I stick him right here, he should be okay. But, uh, I don't know. I'll just leave him where he is for now. Okay, Soren usually can get nailed by those things. And people have death wishes, I swear. I still have Ike's, uh, battle animation on because he did not aether yet. When he does, I will be turning it off. Current move. Thank you. Why are you adapting on an enemy that has 3 HP? Stupid computer. Don't need. <laughs> Holy Snapple. Snap. 
So you better pray for all of our sakes, and mainly my sanity's sake, what's left of it, that Ike does not get a random aether on any of the crows. I could probably just attack with Morim. I think he's slow enough to not kill them in one shot. And you get a pretty interesting conversation if you have Morim um, be attacked by Nasala. I kind of wonder, I've never had Stefan get attacked. I don't think he gets a special conversation, though. I know the Ike one is funny. <laughs> um, let me see here. This guy... This is not good. Neither is that. The fact that these guys are both... at full transformation mode. <sighs> because you won't, you get an item if you uh, don't kill them. If you don't kill all the crows, you get a awesome item that I usually give to Ike. And as proven last chapter, um, Ike is very slow compared to the hop to the ravens, so he will not very likely kill one of them unless. He somehow manages to nail an Aether or a crit, which is something I hope he doesn't. Um, I move Jen up here. I'm taking a very big risk with this because Janet probably will not be able to move out of this area after talking to Nasala. Hopefully these guys will both attack Shinon. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Interest. Yeah. And that's Vortex. And he does it twice, so you want to keep an eye out for that and use the unit like Ike. And hopefully this crow does not get... do too much damage to Ike, nor take... Don't eat there, don't eat there. Thank you! Don't eat there, don't eat there, don't eat there. Don't crit, don't eat there. Please, Ike. I want the night ring. Son of a bitch! Yes! <laughs> that is awesome! I aethered, but the first strike missed. I have never seen that happen before. That was funny as shit. Like I said, provoke. Funniest ability and one of the best for this kind of situation. And you know what? For the sake of keeping wrist safe, I'm gonna move Jill back down here. And I'm gonna have him heal Shinon, who's about to die. And I'm gonna move Ike the hell away from Nessala and his crows, because Ike is about to die. So, what you wanna do 